So today we're gonna to ask the question, what's better? This little chair or this little chair? Let me tell you. Welcome back to Camp Geeks. So, uh, I happened to contact the Click Company, which makes a fairly compact camping chair because it was definitely different than any of the small compact camping chairs that I've seen before. Um, gladly or graciously, they sent me one of these guys to test out. And let me tell you, um, you probably watched me, or maybe you have or have not seen these on the uh, on the uh, on the market. I've done a couple video reviews on these guys, and to be honest, mostly they've been positive. Uh, the downside is is that you have these little poles. So let me get one of these out here real quick to kind of show you and demonstrate why there's a big difference between these. You have your fabric, which is actually the seat, and then you have a set of poles, which you kind of gotta put together, right? Just like you're doing your tent. Uh, you're setting this guy up together, and you're getting it together, and it works fine. However, there's a couple big downfalls. First, well, you have to do this. You have to put it together every single time. And to be honest, you kind of get tired after a while. Second, the feet are really small. So you can get these like sand pads that actually fit on the feet and put more pressure in the middle. And those work better, but you're still dealing with basically tent poles, right? And you still have, well, like there, there's a elastic cord that's getting a little loose. It doesn't really matter because once you get weight on it, it doesn't really matter, but there it is, you know, it is what it is. Less weight, it'll hold less weight typically. This guy, I don't have to put anything together like that. It, just a couple slide things, that's it. So there's a Velcro piece here. We're gonna open it up. That open up, that basically opens it up. So you let go, kind of all clicks are open. And then seat side, so you have your base side and your seat side. You just pull your stays up there, there, there and that's it the chair is done it's up and running the feet are substantially larger i have not really had a whole lot of sinking issues unless you're maybe on some really really wet ground it's not that much heavier it is a little bit heavier i'll be honest but it's definitely built better you can see how it's you know you don't have this big plastic or i guess two plastic little knobs it's all aluminum it's got these gears i mean everything kind of locks into place and then, maybe I have to set the video down here. So now, I can sit back, I can relax. So, of course, like any of these ultralights or these really lightweight chairs, right? It's hard to say ultralight because it's really not ultralight, right? But a lot lighter than a standard chair. It packs up a lot smaller. There's still no cup holder on this guy. Uh, I'd love to see that. I don't know how they do it or just hang a cup holder, I guess, but... I have actually, you know, those other chairs I, I, I've used a lot. I'll be honest. I've taken bike pack trips. I've taken all over the place. And they're great. They are. But I've been using this since I got it way more than I ever used those other ones. This one actually has become my de facto chair that I grab. I actually grab this over my standard chair just because it's so much smaller. It weighs a lot less and it's a lot less cumbersome for me to, well, toke it across. So, like, if my kids have a soccer game... I can go now, of course, soccer games during COVID, but we are still doing them just with face masks and everything. And I gotta be honest, I am impressed by this guy. So once you're done with it, um, it's basically in reverse, right? So we have the buttons that actually kind of like a, the best way to describe it is like a tripod, right? You got your little button, right? There's two of them on the back side. There's only one on the front side. So you just gotta hit those buttons and it collapses. We just work on our way around. One, two, there. And we just got one on each side of this guy. Now we're good. Underneath, on the bottom, you have a single button down there. So I always like to kind of get it into position because that way the fabric kind of comes together. But you push that button in and the legs fold up. And so all the fabric kind of folds into itself. Then you have this strap. Sometimes the strap gets kind of hooked around the leg or whatever. You just got to find out where it comes out. And then you just wrap it around and it's Velcro on one side, or I should say hook and loop, right? That's it. 
Now they offer bags where you can put like six of them or, or four of them or, or a two pack bag. Um, I am a huge fan of this product. Uh, I wish nothing but the greatest things on earth for these guys. I can't wait to see what they come up with next because it's built really well. Is it ultra light? No, no it is not. It's still got some weight to it. But the weight is all in these aluminum pieces. And I'm okay with it weighing more than that other guy a little bit. Uh, because it it's very compact. It, comp it goes to about the same size. But I actually enjoy sitting in it more. I use it more on more occasions. It collapses way easier than taking... First of all, you have to take the fabric off of this, right? Once you get the fabric off of this, then you got to start breaking it down. And I'm not, I'm not hitting on this guy. And I'm not hitting on any specific brand. Uh, these are, were great when this is all the result out there, right? But it just takes so much longer to do that. And then you got to fit it in the bag, and then you got to put the fabric in the bag. This is one piece. It's unclasp class when I get to my game, my daughter's soccer games, I just pop, 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 pop. I'm done. That's it. That is it. And then when I'm done, at the end of the game, you know, I got a little bit more to do than the other people that are uh, putting their chairs down, right? But it's not that much harder just to pop, 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 pop. And then you push that button in and you fold the fabric in and you take your Velcro. Or, I'm sorry, your Huffed Loop. And it. So hopefully this video does justice because it's not hard to do it. They even come with a little keychain thing right there. You can hang it on something. Um, I took this motorcycle camping, moto camping, and it was great because it fit my pannier. And it was, uh, I second guessed taking it, but my tent that I took was really light. The MSR uh, carbon reflex gave me some more room. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm saving space for that. I'm gonna throw this in there too. And I was really happy I did because this made my early mornings just waking up, getting the coffee going, really nice. A lot more comfortable than a uh, picnic table. So, highly recommend it. I'm gonna put links down below. Uh, these links are gonna be directly off their website. Um, so, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not a, I don't have a referral code. I'm just telling you to go check it out, all right? I'm not making anything on that. Go check them out. They make a great product. I'm saying this because I truly believe this is a fantastic product. This is my go-to chair now. Now, like I said, the only downside is no cup holder, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for stopping by on Camp Geeks. I apologize. My nose not is not working or cooperating with me. Last few days, lots of drainage is what it is. But that said. Uh, check out Click. If you have any questions, comment below, post, share, like, comment, subscribe, all of the above, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you back here on Camp Geese for a future video review. We'll see you soon.